we picking up niggas for for weed. That's how they that's how they that's how they de de decriminalize weed. Because it was it was it, so that's the same thing that's happening at the borders right now. The judges is just like yo, listen, let me just hear what you gotta say. Boom, give you this paper and whatever, whatever. Most of the people is not going back to for no asylum. This that that's that, true. That, Mad people not yeah. going back for that. That's true. You know that? And like those so people, because, because those people in the world. Let me tell you, you know how much people running through the border saying, "Yo, I'm gay. I can't go back to my country. They gonna kill me if if they don't like gays in my country." And they just let them stay. That's but, but but what's gonna happen is it's gonna end up it, that that's gonna end up running out. You know why? I'm gonna tell you why that's running out. That's gonna run out because now. It's so much homosexuals in Jamaica and Grenada and Trinidad and all these other places. They're gonna be like, "What are you talking about?" It's, it's a big, it's a big movement of LGBTQ, HDB yeah. people over there. You know what's crazy? That's true. America, but, really you, but you know the funny thing too, Nigel. Problem if they really wanted to, America could definitely put policies in where these people would work for 10, 20 years and get citizenship or whatever they come up with, and these people will willingly do it. But back to what T said earlier, immigrants have to come into this country because immigrants is like now the new slave class for America. They're the new slave. They're the new prisoners. Right. Because you got to remember, once upon a time, black bodies was slaves in America. We produced the, the goods that made America prosperous. Once slavery got done, then we started with wars, invading other people's country to get the resources. We also used immigrants, cheap labor, to keep the American economy afloat. So no yes. matter how much they tell you, oh, we're going to shut down all immigrants, they're not shut down get rid shit. of everything, they can't. No matter what. They can't function without a I think slave class or a low class. They was using black bodies in prisons at one point for that. They're doing it now in Alabama. Right. They got them working fast food 80 hours a week and they get $200 out of the Let me tell you what, what Jackson, Jackson, Louisiana did. They made sure because they need more body for the prison. Middle class system. people is is broke right now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> middle, middle class you don't your, exist. You, you either rich if or you're poor. You calling yourself middle class right now? You're poor. Okay. Let me tell you what they did. Yep. That is a fact. Let me tell you what they did. In Jacksonville, they lower it that an 18 year old is it Louisiana? Um, in the, what is this? Where is Little Wayne from? Louisiana. Anyway, Louisiana. What they did, they made sure that an 18 year old can buy a gun without any background check, without anything. Now, that means that's more people for their prison system. The highest set of people in the prison system in that city is black men. To my, I don't, I don't, to my, I don't know if you know, but um, what? but um, not buying a gun without a background check is, is all over the south. It's not just New Orleans. It's, it's in New York. It's, I mean, it's in it's in it's in Atlanta, Florida, Texas. So, no. No. No, no, no. I'm not saying that. I'm saying without an ID or a background, you buy a gun. Just said in, in Texas, Atlanta, Florida, and many other states in the South. That's what I just said. What are you talking about? Well, all I know in that city, they said it wasn't needed because they had so and much I'm violence. And I'm telling you, it's the same thing everywhere else. Well, they just did it. They just allowed it there. <laughs> Not to change the subject, but I do Tomorrow, agree with you, one you, thing. You're talking about gun things. Okay? Huh? These, these things are gun things, okay? You're what I'm saying is that they're you're saying talking about enough gun young black that's... men, they're saying that enough black men in that city is in jail. They didn't need to do that. So I'm saying it's just more bodies for the prison system. The rest, as they say, was that. Gun is legal. Why are you going to jail? I'm trying to understand what you're saying right now. Not to understand what I'm saying. What no, I'm, I'm saying not. is that they have enough gun violence in that city, and what they're saying is for them to allow these younger men to buy a gun now, for that because it wasn't like that. They just allowed it this year. Tamara, okay. Tamara, let me just say something to you, right? Within the Constitution, right? The Constitution says that you have the right to bear arms, correct or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Okay, the laws that prohibited that—that's not—that's not a legal thing that they are doing. That's number one. They're, 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 they're taking away your constitutional right by saying that. New York, where you live, is a place that you cannot have guns. I like that. You like that? Yeah. yeah the state niggas, of niggas, is, niggas is dying left, left and right in New York. No. Too much no. access to guns. <laughs> are you? Are you? I don't want a 13 year old killing their mother. You, you know, are in a fantasy world. world if you don't think niggas is getting clapped on a regular basis in New York. Of course, I'm not saying no so what are you No, no, no. Talking about. I don't want guns in New York like that. I don't. If they could keep it where it's, we don't get to buy a gun again, Tomorrow, let, me, let me explain something to you, right? Let me explain something to you, Tamara. You see, you see the, you see the, you see the county that I live in. It is illegal for you to own a house and not own a gun. Okay, I love it. I love that. I just said. I don't have a problem for you to have a gun. No, 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 what happened? Did you, did you hear what I just said? Yes. Okay. You know, do you know that if a person knows that that county over there, a, 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 a person can't even own a house if they don't have a gun. You don't think a person is going to think twice about coming at, in my house? I guess so. So why would you say... I don't want I don't want no guns in my in my, in my. You see, that, that, that's the that's the that's the mentality that, that, that we was raised on, especially as Caribbean people. Oh, get that gun out of my house. We are doing gun in my house. Because white not people, everybody white, is healthy to have a gun. White, white people do not teach their kids that. That's, and that's they, why most of their they teach their kids how to shoot. School. But if they can put guns in our 18 year old's hand and send him to the military, he can have a gun at home to protect himself. I, I think 18 year olds should have a gun. I think they should make it elective in high school. Before you graduate high school, you need to learn how to shoot a gun. I think that you need to be mentally evaluated as well. Both can be true. So, so what happened when the, when the, what, what happened when the, look at, look at the white boy that just shot up the fucking school in Atlanta, in Georgia. He, he, he was 14 years old. His father went and got a gun for him and gave it to him. So, yeah, that's, and, and guess what? His father needed to go to jail for that. He is in jail. Yeah, because you know how he was asked, asked about it twice. him about his son. He was asked about it twice. They went to his house last year, the father. And why would you let him do it so, again? So that's what I'm telling you. So, so, bro, bro I, so, I don't be wanting to talk too much because I know too much shit on this. Uh, I, can't really, I can't really talk too much, but... Look at the 13-year-old from Mississippi that shot his mother because he want to be a cat. Does he want to be a what? Yes. That's what? He All I'm telling you is... Cat, and the mother said he can't be a cat. <laughs> he shot his mother. I'd rather live in a gun... I'd rather live in a gun... That's the Biden I'd rather live in a gun state than a state that I can't defend myself. When I go to the grocery store by myself, I can open carry. I live in that kind of state. And I love it. I love it. You go to old people at my crib, you might see a nigga with a rifle on his back. I see the man walking down the street with an AK-47, like messing my kids if you want to. I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather live in a gun state than be in a state where a dude do you think, all right, so let me ask you this question, Major. Do you think that everybody under the age, from 18 and up to 21, should be mentally evaluated before touching a gun? What? Hey, what? From 18 to 21, that want to purchase a gun should be mentally evaluated. Yeah, they should. Okay. That's, that's the only thing I agree with. I agree with that. But what if he go off when he's twenty five? What if he gets a no, develops a mental problem at twenty five? Because because niggas niggas chip lick every day. You got cops I do out believe that it's gonna give an eighteen year old. You got you you got cops out there, there that's walking around that ain't that ain't mentally fit. What are we talking about? No, but when I'm they, they gonna get a shield and a gun. gun. They should be mentally valid. What I'm telling you, is, what I'm telling you is there's police officers out there that ain't mentally straight. And when you finish, you know we have That's true.
Well, they, and they go they through a psych evaluation in order to get their job and pass it and still go out there and kill people. So a psychic evaluation not gonna do nothing. So if that's the case, a nigga should get a, a, a nigga should get mentally evaluated before he get a driver's license too. <laughs> that's a weapon. That's a bigger weapon than a gun. Did you get mentally evaluated before you got a license? <laughs> Because you could be driving right now and be on live and put your head down and look at the screen and kill somebody right now. Then kneecaps with you. American workers suffered. I am not looking at the screen, Negro. Okay? I'm looking You definitely look at the screen. <laughs> she just looked at the comments when she said. You're going to look me dead in my face. Evolution of money. I mean, yo, 
Trump is Trump is the one, bro. And I was trying to figure out what he was thinking, like who who do you want rather than Trump for the next term? That was what I was trying to figure out. So, so with what you've been watching, how do you feel about about the uh, about the, uh, the the candidates? Honestly, I didn't watch any debate. Like, I'll probably go back and watch some videos, but I was just making money, bro. Like, I don't got time to fucking and watch the debate. Like, you know, I don't care what the fuck they're doing, but I definitely know that Trump 100 percent Trump. 2025. I don't want to be that guy, but you are that guy. All right, go ahead, Drake. He has nothing to do with. Uh, he has nothing to do with 2025. You pro Trump? I'm not pro Trump, but I'm I'm pro Trump for this next election because I got digital assets that need to fucking move back to where they're supposed to be. And without Trump, crazy. We can't do that. We need Trump. So, 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 what you know about Kamala that you don't want to vote for, that, that you don't want her to be president? I mean, I would love Kamala to be president. Why? Because, because she's a black lady. I feel like that's great, right? That's, but the, only, that's the only reason. That's yeah. the only reason. That's the only reason. I don't know shit all about Kamala Harris. I don't know anything about. She's her. actually, she's actually Indian. She's, she's a black she's East Indian. She'll tell you that she's East Indian, and she claimed East Indian when she won vice president until she started running, did she turn black. So she's trans black. Let's just call it what the party is. Why did she, why was she a part of the sorority and all that? A to get the benefits. Don't make it. There are white, there are white women in the AKA, man. You want to be president just because you're a black woman. Just remember Tyree. This is a black woman. What that mix-up that they're talking about? Tyree's big mother is black, too. That's why I just want you to know that. I don't think Tyree's black. I think Tyree's white. Tyree's white. Tyree's white. Tyree's white. Tyree's white. Wow. I told you she's a man-hater. That's not I'm not a man-hater. Tyree's is getting it. She's a man-hater. No, no. Wait, this woman waited until his movie and his album dropped that's to file crazy. charges against him? No, no he, that, that part was good already. That, that part that was good already. No, it wasn't. That's a part that was from last uh, months ago. That's not, uh, it's not right what's happening to No, to I'm going to slide. The court thing was booked already, he said. Uh, his baby mama's up. Uh, she know he don't make that much. She knew when she got her legs open, he didn't make that much money. what he's getting? This is what I'm going to say. I don't agree to the fact that he got to go to court and go through what he's going through. But I'm going to say this. Tyree married that woman based on just her appearance. How do you know? Tyree did not. How do you know that? How do you know what he you felt for? He said it too. No, he did not. No, he, he did he, not he, he never say that. He never said that. Character. He, didn't he never character. said that. He never said that. He listened to his latest <laughs> album. He never he said, said that. He said he didn't notice those characters. She bamboozled him. So, so, so that means he didn't know her? What's this? Oh, shit. Yo, that's, Ooh, cra that's crazy. Yo, that's why. He I, said he yo, didn't know all of that side of her. Okay. That side of her. okay. So that means that that means that he didn't he, he didn't know her. Know all of that, and he didn't know his her. Yeah, I'm not even I'm not even gonna go there with it. I'm not even gonna go there with it. Her and her mother was in talking real so crazy right now. What I'm saying, Tyrese ain't got money like that. She okay, should have went for a better celebrity. Okay, this is Tyrese about God. You talking crazy? I, I don't. That's crazy. <laughs> I feel sorry for him. Don't get me wrong. That's crazy. But the kind that you're right. We gotta pray for baby boy. Yeah. But my issue with that, he knows that it was court ordered to pay. Why not just pay the shit? Why go to jail? Because he didn't have the money. You didn't see his interview? Go look at his interview with uh, Charlamagne the God. The nigga had on jury from Amazon. He Prime. only said that he does he that. Don't, I saw the he don't he have no money. Tyrese is broke. When was the last time Tyrese came out with something? Tyrese ain't got no money like that. I doubt he's broke. She need to drop that child support and let it go, girl. Take care of your baby. He ain't broke because I pass his crib almost every other day. Tyrese is not broke. <laughs> he, he, he not he not he not he not he not he don't have enough money coming in. He don't have enough money coming in to pay that child support every all the time. He gonna have to downsize. He, Jody gonna have to downsize that house. Jody gonna have to move back in with, with a family member. No. Her ain't got no money. Yes, he does. Because he has a lot of investment.
He fronting. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Mara. He fronting. That's why he got no money. You got more money. Tyrese going through the drive through tomorrow. My... His car didn't go through. You don't have to be chewing that. Nigel, you don't look happy chewing that at all. I'm on a diet, man. I'm eating a thingy chip. I know. That's what I'm saying. You don't look too happy. Oh, that's delicious. You don't look too happy. I love seaweed chips. I hate the aftertaste of that shit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I do feel bad for Tommy. Don't get me wrong. But I just feel like. Yo, he be dragging it. We gotta get.